Hi, my name is Jasmine and today we're going to go through quite a strong flow. I know that being in isolation, we're all maybe sitting in spots a little bit longer than normal, maybe we're hunched over a little bit more. So this flow is all about opening up the front body, making you feel like it's almost the opposite of what we're all doing at the moment. So you should really feel that opening through the front of your chest, through your heart space. Um, even though it's a flow based on back bends, I don't want any sort of pain through the lower back. So we're going to work on how we can achieve that within all different types of bodies. So let's start by laying on our backs. You could use a block or a rolled up blanket at one stage of this flow, but it's not necessary if you don't have one handy. So to begin, let's take the soles of our feet to the mat and walk those feet to mat with the part, dropping the knees in towards one another. I personally like to take my hands onto my body, whether that be my belly, my chest, or even my the front of my hip creases. And start to breathe deeply into your bellies. By taking the feet out wide and dropping the knees down in towards one another, we're really creating space in the lower part of your back, a space that often finds compression. It also encourages you to lengthen down your tailbone and plant the lower part of your back onto the mat. But right now, all I want you to focus on is your breath. So the thing about backbends that tends to be overwhelming is a sense of fear. And when fear occurs, we stop breathing. At any stage that you feel like this is starting to happen in your body, maybe ask yourself why you've gone that deep. Maybe it was driven by your ego. Maybe coming out of the pose a little might help or encourage you to be able to breathe freely. Blink open the eyes if your eyes are closed and heel toe your feet so that they are hip width apart. Maybe your heels are right up against your hip and you can feel the backs of your heels with your fingertips. Your hands are down by your side and inhale, lift your pelvis towards the ceiling, bridge pose. Notice as we press our hips towards the, the ceiling, your glutes want to squeeze and turn on. We want to have some looseness in our glutes. So what would it feel like if you press the ground away more through the soles of your feet Feel now how your thighs are turned on a lot more and you've taken the pressure out of your glutes. A little bit of glute activation is fine, but I really want you to encourage you to use your legs. Exhale, slowly lower back down to the mat. Changing it up a little, inhale, lift your pelvis to the sky, bridge pose. Take your hands onto your pelvis, so almost like you're holding your pelvis in place. Your four fingers are on top of your hips and then your thumb is behind. Now we're pressing the ground away through our feet. I want you to almost like you're untucking your tailbone. So you're shifting your hips back in space just slightly, almost like you're sticking your bottom out. Notice now when you do that, some sort of compression through your lower back. As we're compressing through that space, just noticing what happens to the rest of your body, what happens to your breath. And then I want you to lengthen your tailbone down in space. So we're finding length through the back body. We're staying active through the, sorry, through the core center. 
and we're finding length through your lower back. Our tailbone is really lengthening down towards our knees or towards our heels. And that compression through the lower spine has disappeared. So when we come into our back bends, I want you to focus on this aspect. Instead of crunching through the lower back, we want to lengthen down through the tailbone. Exhale, slowly lower back down to the mat. Taking the palms of your hands down by your side, we're going to lift our pelvis and walk our hands underneath our glutes. So your left hand is face down under your left glute. Your right hand is face down underneath your right glute. Extend your legs forward in space. We will wiggle our elbows towards one another, almost like our elbows come underneath our torso. And then pressing into the forearms, we're going to pick up our torso Fish pose, like we're looking on a beach. We're pressing our way up. And then I want you to focus on pressing your heart space towards the ceiling. So instead of sitting your way back in space with your chin tucked into your chest, your chin remains tucked into your chest, but instead you're really expanding your chest towards the ceiling. Notice as you push down through your forearms and puff your chest towards the sky, You'll feel a stretch or an opening through the shoulders. We'll stay for three more breaths here. If you feel nice and stable here, you can open up your neck and look towards the back of the room. Take your chin back into your chest and lower all the way down to the mat. Release your palms from underneath you. Take your knees into your chest and without using your hands, we're going to rock and roll up and down the spine until we can flip over into tabletop. Let's come through a couple of rounds of cat and cow just to... Start to warm up through the spine cavity. So inhale, dip the belly and look forward. Exhale, rounding and arching through the spine. And I want to give you five breaths here where you can express yourself. So if your body is creating, is craving, sorry, a lateral bend, move your hips from side to side, moving your spine from side to side. Just move with the rhythm of your breath. You've got four more deep breaths. Somewhere in your next breath, tuck your toes under, lift your hips up and back downward facing dog. And let's pedal out our dog, so bending through one knee and then the other. Drawing one opposite heel down, you'll feel that opening through the back of that leg and through the calf muscle. And then find some stillness. Your legs don't have to be straight and downward facing dog. I actually encourage you to bend through the knees so that you can lift the hips nice and high. Then bend deeply through both knees and step your way forward between your hands. Halfway lift on your inhale, your hands come to shins. Think like it's a mini back bend sensation so you're opening up and broadening through the collarbones. Exhale, fold. Roll your way up to stand, inhale, exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, bend through the knees deeply, your arms come up overhead. Think about lengthening down through the tailbone once again. Exhale, fold, plant your hands, step back, high plank. Lower all the way down to the mat. Inhale, low cobra. Exhale, lower down, press back through child's pose. Downward facing dog. Inhale, your right leg lifts. Step your right foot forward between your hands, drop your back knee down. Inhale, Anjanasana, low lunge. 
Exhale, hands plant to frame your right foot. Step your right foot back in space, downward facing dog. Inhale, your left leg lifts. Step your left foot forward inside your hands. Drop your back knee down. Inhale, pick your arms up. Anji Nasana, low lunge. Exhale, hands come down to frame your left foot. Step back, downward facing dog. Bend your knees deeply. Step your way forward between your hands. Halfway lift on your inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Come to stand, inhale. Exhale, fold. Bend your knees deeply, chair pose. Forward fold on your exhale. Plant your hands, step back, high plank. Option one is to lower all the way down to the mat. Option two, lower down to chaturanga. Elbows graze the side ribs. Upward facing dog or low cobra. And downward facing dog. Let's all take a deep inhale together. Open the mouth and sigh it out. Inhale, your right leg lifts up and back. Exhale, step the right foot forward between the hands. Crescent lunge, come on up. Let's take a deep bend through the back knee to have some buoyancy through the back leg. And you'll help, it'll help you create some evenness between your front and back foot. Left hand goes forward, right hand goes back in space. Twisted crescent lunge. By bending the back knee, it'll encourage that lengthening down of the tailbone. Right hand finds the back of the left thigh and your left hand reaches up and back, exalting the shape. Maybe you look over your right shoulder towards your left heel. Twisted crescent lunge, come back up. Bowling ball, the right arm down and up, crescent lunge. Interlace the hands above your head and then shine the palms of your hands towards the ceiling. Think about that buoyancy. Think about driving the front of your pelvis towards your rib cage so you feel that stability through your core center. And then we're going to puff the chest towards the ceiling as you reach the palms of your hands towards the corner of the room. Keep opening up through the front of the chest. On your next inhale, come up through centre. Hands come down to frame your right foot. Inhale, your right hand lifts. Simple twist. You'll feel that opening through the outer right hip. You can look up at your right hand or down at your left hand, wherever you prefer. Come onto the knife edge blade of your left foot. Step your right foot back on top of your left foot side plank. See if you can, instead of dropping your hips down, see if you can hip, lift your hips nice and high. You can stay here or draw your right knee into chest and then step your right foot behind your left wild thing, reaching your right arm forward in space. Look down at your left hand, flip on over three leg plank. Lower down through chaturanga or all the way down to the mat. Upward facing dog or low cobra. Downward facing dog we meet. Inhale your left leg lifts. Step your left foot forward between your hands. Crescent lunge. Right hand goes forward, left hand goes back. And again, take a nice deep bend through that right knee, through your back leg. Left hand comes down to find the right thigh. And then inhale, reach your right arm up and over. Find your tw twisted crescent lunge. Bowling ball, left hand down and up. Crescent lunge. Interlace the hands the opposite way above, the he above your head and then press the palms of your hands towards the ceiling. 
Keeping that bend through your back knee, think about activating your core region, you know how to get there. And then we're going to puff the chest towards the ceiling. As you reach the palms of your hands towards the back of the room, Staying nice and strong through the back body. Inhale, come back up. Hands frame your left foot. Plant your right hand down and then inhale, your left hand lifts to the sky. Look down at your right hand. Come onto the knife edge blade of your right foot and stack your left foot on top of your right side plank. If you feel nice and stable here, draw your left knee into chest and then step that left foot behind your right. Wild thing is you lift your hips towards the sky, extending your left hand towards the front of the room. Look down at your right hand, flip on over, three leg plank. Lower down through Chaturanga or all the way down to the mat. Inhale, upward dog or low cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Drop your knees to the mat. Walk your hands forward in space. Your hips are over your knees. Melting heart pose as you start to ground through your torso. Maybe you're not there yet today, that's also fine. Your forehead or your chin can rest on the mat. Press into your hands as you walk your hands back underneath your shoulders. Tuck your toes under. Lift your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Come up onto the balls of the feet, bend the knees, and then walk your hands back in space to frame your feet at the back of the mat. Heel toe your feet together and roll your way up to stand. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead, but this time I want you to focus on pressing your pinky edge of your hands together. As you press your pinky edge of your hands together, so both palms are pressing into one another, think about instead of arching your spine, see if you can draw your inner ribs in. Notice how much of your armpits and your outer shoulders are strengthening. And then keeping this formation through the upper body, see if you can bend through your knees into chair pose. This might create that arch through the spine, but I still encourage you to find some length down through the back of the tailbone. Hands to prayer at heart center. You'll find some relief through the shoulders as you come into this variation of chair pose. We're shifting our weight forward in space, so coming onto the boards of the feet. Bend through the knees so you lower all the way down to, the, to a squat, trying to keep the heels nice and lifted. Drop your heels down. Drop your bottoms down. We're going to point through both of our toes. So, Sorry, through all of our toes. Squeeze the legs together. And we're going to come into a variation of boat pose, so a variation of Navasana. So instead of lifting the legs off the ground, what we're going to do is we're going to keep the tops of the feet onto the mat, so the tips of the toes, and then, almost like we're finding a seated back bend, we're going to puff the chest towards the ceiling. You can reach the hands out in front of you, almost like you're carrying two plates. As you start to broaden through the collarbones, notice how much your tummy muscles need to work as you're really on the top of those sit bones as you lift up a little higher. Squeezing the legs together. We'll stay for five breaths. And release. 
Whew. It's a lot of work through the body, I know. Take your feet towards yourself. Your knees are out wide. See if you can pick up your body back onto your toes. Drop your knees down. Your knees are hip width apart. Your toes are tucked under behind you. We're trying to create a flat plane between our knees, our hips and our shoulders as we hinge from the knee backwards in space. So if you have sensitive knees, what you can do is you can actually double up your mat and roll over half of your mat so that your knees have some extra padding. So as we hinge back in space, we're starting to draw the front of our hip bones towards our rib cage. Take a deep inhale. Roll your shoulders down your back, maybe the front of your palms face towards the front of the room, and then exhale, hinge from the knee. Trying to keep that nice straight plane. You'll feel your thighs start to work. Your shoulder blades are pressed together on your back. Come back up through centre. Relax a little. We're coming into round two, so take two more breaths. Let's get ready for stage two. So, once again, front of the hip bones towards your rib cage. Your, your core region is nice and active. Roll your shoulders down your back. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, hinge from the knee. We'll just stay for three breaths. Come back up through centre. Sit down towards your heels. We'll come through a few rounds of dancing camel to loosen up the spine once again as we twist from side to side. So for dancing camel, left hand to left heel, and then we're going to lasso the right hand over as we lift the hips nice and high. So lasso the right hand over, lift your hips up and forward in space. And then as we change sides, we lower the hips, the right hand lassoes over, Find our right heel as we are, our hips are towards our heels and then the left hand lifts up and over. Let's follow our breath. So exhale, changing sides. Inhale, we reach up and over. Exhale, change. Inhale, up and over. One more each side. Exhale, change. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, change. Inhale, up and over. Exhale, back through centre. Take your mat back out so that it's at its original length once again. Locate either a block or a blanket if you have one handy. If not, don't worry. We're going to come laying onto our bellies. And to begin... We're going to take our hands down by our sides and find locust pose. So we're pressing the front of the pelvis down into the mat. And then on our inhale, we lift our chest, lift our feet, squeeze our shoulder blades together on the back, maybe the hands float. We stay for three breaths. Exhale, lower back down. Take one ear to the mat. For round two, we're going to find an active bow pose. So bend through both knees, we're flexing through the feet. We're starting to press down through the pelvis into the mat. We're pressing down our thighs into the mat. And then we're reaching our arms back in space. We're not grabbing onto the ankles. We're really just reaching back, trying to find this active version of bow pose. Keep the neck nice and long. Stay for three breaths. Exhale, lower back down. Take the opposite ear to the mat. Take your hands underneath your shoulders and press up so that you can take your block or your blanket. If you've rolled up a blanket, it's almost like a bolster shape or almost like a log shape. Then your block is in front of you. This is a really this is just a point of contact so that you know where to lift your torso from. So as we walk ourselves down, 
Our pelvis is behind our block. Our block takes, sorry, our block touches almost like our navel center or to the bottom of your rib cage. So once you've found your block and you feel quite comfortable here, we're going to bend through both knees. Take a hold of the outside of each ankle so that our thumbs are pointing down towards the ground. Take a deep inhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back. You're pressing your pelvis and your thighs into the mat once again. And then as you kick into your hands, notice now how you press your belly muscles away from the block. You're drawing your knees down towards the mat as they hug inwards just slightly. We stay for three breaths. Exhale, release. Move the block out of the way. Take one ear to the mat. Last round of our back bend. So bow pose without any props. So taking a hold of the ankles once again. We're really pressing down the pubic bone so it goes down and forward in space. Take a deep inhale. On your exhale, you'll start to kick into your hands. See if you can keep pressing down those front of the tops of your thighs into the mat. Keep flexing those feet. And release. The opposite ear to the mat. Hands underneath shoulders, press up so you can come sitting down onto your mat. We're going to come through a very quick cool down because we're running out of time. So wide leg forward fold. You can do this against the wall where your legs are on the wall and they open out to a V shape. Otherwise, we want to, instead of rolling our pelvis back in space, we want to roll our pelvis forward so we can forward fold. So. Shift your pelvis forward in space. If you have a block or a blanket that can go underneath your pelvis to help this tilt, that would be great. Otherwise, just walk your bodies forward. Maybe you're on your hands, maybe on your forearm, maybe you're flat on the mat. Wherever you are today is fine. Allow your head and neck to go heavy and we'll just stay for five breaths. And throughout the class, we didn't do much side bending. So we're going to walk our hands over to your left leg, left hand inside your left leg, right arm reaches up and over. Think about pressing your right side ribs towards the ceiling. You can flex through both feet and start to press the he- sorry, press the heels down as your toes lift towards the sky. Right hand goes down, walk yourselves over inside your right foot. Right hand plants and then reach your left hand up and over. Left hand goes down, back through centre. Hands underneath your knees and bring your knees to close. Come laying back down onto the mat, so onto your backs. Right knee into chest, give yourselves a squeeze. And then take that right knee across your body. Simple twist. Right hand can come out to the right. Maybe you look towards that right hand. Right knee back into chest. Send your right leg nice and long, left knee into chest, give yourselves a squeeze. Left knee goes across your body to the right, left hand out to the left and maybe you look over to that hand.
back through center. Send your left leg nice and long. If you feel like happy baby is what you need, take the knife edge blades of both feet. Knees come down towards your armpits. Stay for at least five breaths. Otherwise, find a Shavasana shape. So feet are mat width apart. The arms are away from the body and the shoulders are rolled down your back. Starting to soften your breath. Starting to slow down the heart rate. Allow the feet to soften, the palms of the hands, the legs and the arms melt into the ground. Allowing the pelvis and the shoulders to be heavy. Relaxing all the muscles in your face. If you wish to stay here, please stay here. However, if you're ready to move on, swallow a few times to slightly reawaken the body, wiggling the fingers and toes or maybe turning the head from side to side. If you feel like a full body stretch, please take that. And then, then roll over to one side momentarily before pressing yourselves up into a comfortable seat. Take your hands to prayer at heart center. Gentle inhale. Exhale, bow your head towards your hands. Namaste.